gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Playing with Junk. This time it's not about computers, but it's still digital. It's about an electronic clock from 1973. Now, why I'm doing a video about an electronic clock? Um, primarily, it's because of the manual that came with the clock, because it's a kit from head kit and uh, I found this manual so fantastic I thought I have to show you that so here that's the clock how it looks in the manual and uh, there are a couple of details for example here assembly notes that's uh, just in case you only have a large soldering iron with a large tip they gave you the tip that you can wind a piece of copper wire around that tip to make a smaller tip to easily solder the chip and all the small components and as you can see in the text they even supplied that piece of copper wire to adapt to your uh, soldering iron I think that alone is remarkable. As you can see this clock doesn't use LED or LCD displays, it, use, it uses uh, Panaplex displays. They work similar as Nixie tubes, it's a neon discharge tube and it has two seven uh, segment digits per, um, per unit. These are driven with about, um, I think, about 60, 70 volts AC and the chip of this clock is made to drive them directly. So you don't need a lot of electronics and high voltage uh, switching. Chip does that all by alone. <laughs> And here is the entire assembly manual. Uh, it's a PDF with about 43 pages. Uh, if you like you can watch it and uh, you can pause the video if you want to read more details. Yeah, enjoy it! Thanks for watching! Mm -hmm.